Tensions are escalating between the city and people advocating for the homeless community. They want Mayor Hancock to do more than clean up a growing number of camps in our city. Big groups showed up today outside the mayor's office and started chanting during his scheduled update on the coronavirus. Despite their anger, the mayor says the cleanups will continue because of the risk to public health and safety. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt live in Denver on the story. Karen, we know it's a tricky issue, and the people protesting today say there is a better way to approach it. Jim, one idea that was brought up when COVID first hit and was brought up again today is designating a specific area where all of these tents could go. Now, the mayor at the time said that it wasn't needed, but today he says it's all on the table. Denver streets are lined with tents and an array of makeshift structures. On 22nd and Stout, you'll find divine quarters at home. The green carpet is the most important thing. That is the first thing that separates you from the city streets. Other camps now stretching into neighborhoods are a cause for concern, leaving the city to balance COVID risks with public health concerns that the mayor says can't be overlooked. Well, the bottom line is we they have become a public health threat and we're going to have to clean them up. Advocates say cleanups are a short-term fix. They want replaced with a long-term solution. Among their ideas, designating a safe outdoor space. Temporary safe spaces where people can camp, where we ensure that they can be safe and healthy and secure, where we can bring in resources. Dr. Kathleen Van Voris with the Interfaith Alliance says it would follow CDC guidelines, address public health concerns, and appeal to those who typically avoid shelters. Being able not only to provide a little bit more space for the health factor, um, but also sort of provides them with their own personal area. Quarters thinks having a safe space would be a step in the right direction. Knowing what it's like to have a home, even if you're on uh, 12 feet of sidewalk. Now, when asked about that idea today, the mayor said they are researching how those sanctioned encampments are working for other cities such as Portland and San Francisco. He also says they're looking at how it might work here in Denver. What Interfaith Alliance says has brought to uh, what Interfaith Alliance has brought to the mayor, they say is simply a proposal at this time. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morford covering Colorado first. All right.